Well, it's great to be up here at Buchanan today. Uh, th this, this never gets old for me. Uh, I got to do this for the first time just, just a very few months ago. And uh, look around here. Th this is amazing. This has never happened before with highways to have this much equipment for our guys to get out there and get these roads fixed with. It's never happened before. Uh, it, it's, it's amazing. It's one of the most spectacular things I have ever seen in my entire career here. Uh, what do you think, guys? I mean, this, this is just amazing. I mean, I, I see tandems. I see single axles. I see one tons. I see great alls. Uh, look at those new mowers. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, I'm, I, I honestly just don't know what to say. For the first time in my life, I'm a little bit tongue-tied. So uh, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what, 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 what I'm honored to do for the, and have been for the last four months or so. I'm going to introduce our great governor of the great state of West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice, who made this happen with his vision. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you all so much. You know... And just coming in here, I was driving down the interstate and I was just thinking, you know, that two days ago, we, we basically saved a power plant and lots and lots of jobs. Coal mine jobs, you know, jobs with all the pipe fitters in the plant, the plant workers, $400 million a year supposedly they spend on that plant. It was a really unbelievable day. And then I'm coming down the interstate, and I look, and here's these unbelievable billboards that show our tourism just reflecting and showing off our state in a way that makes us proud. Almost heaven. And we know within our tourism department that we are exploding to the upside. We are absolutely knocking it out of the park. Now, just think about it. Just a, two days ago, we're saving a power plant. Right coming down the interstate is the reflection of tourism and all the greatness that it's doing. We got lots and lots of stuff going on in the state of West Virginia that is unprecedented. Never in history before. Economic numbers that are off the chart. National recognition from Wilbur Ross and the, the head of commerce saying West Virginia is first in the nation. It's ama it is truly amazing. And then all of a sudden we turn in here. Now just think about it. Think about just this. Look around. For crying out loud, it is truly unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Now, we made some mistakes in past governors that didn't really have the vision and the wisdom. And, and I'm not throwing people under the bus, but I am eat up with the truth all the time. And past governors decided because things were so tough, or maybe our population was declining, that we could sell stuff and maybe bring in a few dollars, and get by. Well, you can't get by. I mean, that's all there is to it. Anybody that knows anything about a business knows when you start down that path, you're starting down a path to total destruction, period, the end. Guarantee it. You have to have the tools to be able to work with, to be able to get the job done. You saw what happened to our roads decades and decades and decades of deterioration, and then all of a sudden we awaken to the fact that, for crying out loud, we got a state, we want people to come. Well, for crying out loud, nobody's gonna come here. Nobody's gonna come here where you can't even drive to the convenience store without tearing your car all to pieces. I mean, why are they gonna come? You know, I just think about 
the two most important things of why people want to be in this place. The first one, believe it or not, is education. People want their kids to be safe and be in good schools. We've tried to address that. We've rewarded our teachers and rewarded all of our state workers, and we, we've tried to address that. We've got good schools, and we've got good teachers, and we want to just have more and more and better and better. Now, the second thing in a standard of life that people want is highways. Highways. That's all there is to it. They want good roads. They want to go do stuff. They want to get around. That's you. That's you. Now, there's lots of things going on with this, in this state, but I want you to never forget just this. If you're one of those that are hurting, we haven't forgot you. And if you're one of those that are, things are going dead gum good in your life right now, don't forget those that are hurting. Because we still got a lot to do. A lot, lot, lot to do. But I congratulate you. I mean, I, I've been to a lot of places, and other than a dealership, I've never been to a place like this. And I'm dead serious. I have never, ever, ever, and I've been a lot of places, I have never seen a place that had this much brand new equipment, and this is only a fraction of it. There's all kinds more coming, and more coming, and more coming. You do great work. I challenge all the people of West Virginia, to, and I'll do it again today, I'll do it right now, that when you see these great people, men and women, doing this kind of work every day within the state, and you happen to be stopped, tell them you thank them, and tell them you appreciate them. And the other flip side of it is this, if you're not stopped, at least wave, and let them know that you appreciate them by waving. If you don't want to wave, don't lay on the horn because that'll scare them to death. But nevertheless, I appreciate you. I know you're doing great work. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. You know, the only problem is just this. You've never had, as a governor, a business guy. You've never had a business guy that looks at things with a vision and doesn't want anything looks at things in a vision and says, this is what we can do. Now let's get at it. We don't need to mess around with it till the cows come home and study it. Let's get at it. We're going to make some mistakes. Let's get at it. You've had governors, and that's what's wrong with politics today. Here's what is exactly wrong. People like myself won't do it. They won't do it because of all the crap. And then what you get is you get people in politics that are selling their influence and becoming rich by being lifers in politics. They don't know what to do. They don't have any idea what to do. And that's why you just struggle around and you're just like you're in the quicksand. You never go anywhere. You get a business guy that doesn't want anything, that has real vision, Look, just look. For crying out loud, it's unbelievable. So I'm really proud. A lot, a lot of people put in a lot of great licks. This guy right here is a blooming superstar. That's all there is to it. But you know what? All of you are too. That's the other thing that goes unnoticed in West Virginia all the time. We talk about our seasons and our natural resources and all the close, the proximity to all the world's, world's or the U.S. population, all the good stuff. But you, you are the treasure. You really are. Absolutely, you just plain are. You know, you know the difference between right and wrong. You know how to appreciate people. You know how to love. You're low crime. You're faith based. You are the treasure. You always are. You should be so proud, so blooming proud. That's the other thing that just drives me nuts. It is the sole reason that I ran for governor, and it's just this. West Virginia was just the blunt end of bad jokes. 
bad jokes where people made fun of us. And I knew how good you were. I knew how good you were. And I hate to say it, but when we become first and first and first, we need to rub it in their nose. I mean, rub their nose in it. You know, because absolutely, you know, I am just that blooming proud of you. Now, I'd sure like to take some of the credit, but at the same time, there's great people like Jimmy, great people like you. There's great people like our, you know, legislators and all the, all the people from the media, from everybody right on down. This is us. This is our moment. We don't need to try to blow our legs off. This is our moment. So congratulations in every way, shape, form, or fashion. And I love you with every fiber in me. And I just want us to keep on keeping on because I know how good we are and I don't want us to go back to where we were competing with Mississippi on who would be dead last. I want us to have everybody in the world, in the world, walking around saying West Virginia is the diamond in the rough that we missed. West Virginia is the diamond we missed. So, again... Congratulations to all of you, and thank you so much for having me, and even this halfway fits. I said halfway, because it's still a little snug here. All right, listen, thank you all again for everything. God bless all of you.